Hey guys, and only AJ. Welcome to another episode of Let's Build a Tudor Mansion. Where today it's likely that we're actually going to finish off the exterior of the entire house. How crazy is that? This is going a lot quicker than the last build. Uh, on the outside, obviously, because the outside is a lot smaller. Uh, but the inside is going to take a while because of how much space we have available. It's going to be totally, totally awesome. I'm just striping the lawn here, just finishing off mowing the lawn, doing yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, afternoon. Uh, what would you say, like chores, mowing the lawn, pruning the bushes. All that kind of thing. This is on this side of the building, on the right-hand side. Uh, before, this is just a blank space. I just put a little bit of a hedge at the back. And then done the same fence design down here as we done in the back garden. I think it was last episode. Sort of finishes that off nicely. In the garden that we done last episode, I have put down another um, uh, rose bush cross. I don't know what you would call it. Something like that in there. Looks great. I don't think I want anything more in this back garden. I think that's all we want. It's a beautiful, neat back garden with everything that you would need. Maybe a tree, actually. Maybe a tree would be really nice. Um, maybe oak. I was thinking about spruce, but then I was like, mm, no, it causes more trouble than it's worth. Uh, let's do an oak tree right there. Right there, that one. Pow. Hmm. It needs to be neatened up a little bit. I don't think it's really tall enough. I think we should probably just really customise this up a little bit. We'll take out those corner ones. I'm going to go up even higher. With these. Really customise this up. With those ones. Like that. Nothing too crazy. And then... Yeah, that's pretty good. What about these around the bottom? Just like that. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. That's a nice little touch in the back garden there. I think that's all we want, though. I don't think I want anything more in the back garden. It's a traditional house. It's not meant to look um, cramped or packed. Let me move my mic. I feel like it's a little bit too low. That's better. I don't want it to look cramped or anything like that. And I think that's pretty much as far as I want to go with it. So yeah, let's uh, come around the back here and basically just start making our way around and neatening up, ne neatening -ning 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 it up uh, all the way around. So like little sections of um, of leaves. Do I want them on the outside of this fence? I don't think I want them on the outside of the fence, but definitely uh, along this back edge here. I know we've got the um, uh, other bits to put in as well. We've got flowers, sunflowers and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really worrying too much about that at the moment. We should worry about that later on uh, in a few minutes' time. Let's have a nice tall one in here. Like that. We'll have one. Oh, this corner is... Any corners really ask for, like, really nice tall bushes. They really, really do. Something like this. It's like it's sort of growing up it a little bit and around it. Like that. Oops. And then wrap around the front. As you can see, there's really not much um, strategy to this. It's pretty much um, similar shapes all the way through. Um, just with like little tiny minor differences uh, uh, with these leaves. Just change it up every now and again. Um, basically have one tall point. Have one tall point uh, usually in the corner. Um, or in a, a spot where there's like a pillar. And then just sort of build it out from around there. Uh, we can have a little one in here. And try not to make it too thin. If you only make it like uh, like this, if you only do it like that, it looks really boring. If you try and build it out, just come out like two blocks or so. You get a much more natural looking sort of clump. We, I can go a little bit like that. Something like that. That looks pretty good. So already that's really helped out the whole look of the house just with those little bushes. And I think we want maybe a little one because we need to have enough room to be able to walk through along here. I want to get like a little diorite uh, path like how we had in the back garden going from here and then hooking up to the back door. Uh, now, that's looking pretty good. Now along the front here, I think I want some like tall rose bushes and other tall things. Uh, going around the side, it was a really 
like nice sort of mixture we had last episode. So we shall get some of these. What we're going to do is we're going to spam along with the rose bushes first because they're the most important ones to me on this entire build. The red just goes so well with the brown. So we want like a, bu a bunch of those in. And then we're going to go again with the pink ones. Be a little bit more frugal with these ones. Not too many of them. Just like spam a couple down like that. Then we'll go in with the uh, with the tall fern. Basically put these in the majority of the spaces left over. And then wherever you have a spot left, we shall put some little lilacs. Are they like they are lilacs? Look at me. I'm like a herbologist. And that one. There we go. Just to neaten that up. And then yeah, in these little gaps here. Just put some lilacs down. And that should finish off all of the gaps that you've got. And you'll get a really nice hedgerow. Really interesting looking hedgerow when you back off. I mean, that, it looks so beautiful. Proper traditional mansion. I love it. I absolutely love it. So we want to do a similar thing now around the rest of the, the house. So we're going to go around with these tall ones first. Uh, again, mostly using um, the rose bushes, but mixing in some other ones here and there. And I'll probably come back along here as well. Uh, Here's a little bit of a problem because where we've mowed the lawn, we've covered up the um, the opportunities to place down plants because they can't go on top of clay. Uh, that's what that is, by the way, if you don't know. And same here. So we should probably just remove a couple of those. Like that. Beautiful. That one, that one. Lilac, that one, that one. As you can see, there's no there's no uh, real strategy. There's no specific block that I'm choosing for an area. Really, you just sort of after time you get sort of used to what you th what would look good and what doesn't. Uh, something like that. I want a lilac somewhere here, maybe on the corner, yeah, on the corner there, and one there. Okay, that's pretty good. Then we're gonna go around with some uh, sunflowers and some. What was the other? What was the other flower that we had? The white daisies, weren't they? Yeah, white daisies along the edge there. Are they oxy, oxy, oxy daisies. Oop, and that one, and that one. So, in any spaces left over, you're just going to place down sunflowers. Oh, I don't like that sort of a pattern. I don't like that. Uh, in any spaces now left over, you're just going to place down these ones. Uh, like that. Like that, like that, like that, like that. Yeah, we're not, we're staying away from the tulips deliberately, um, the the colourful ones because we don't want to go too crazy with colour. We want to sort of uh, keep specific colours uh, to this build. But that, that's now looking so cool. So many, a real good use of flowers as well. Again. Um, I'm imagining, you know, like I like to paint a picture in my head of, of what uh, sort of person would live in a certain uh, house. Like how we had sort of um, the older person live in the annex in a sort of musical game. You know, we had the music room, we had a lot of games, rooms, a, a lot of gaming things. We had a, a bar down the bottom, um, you know, a gaming adult, but with a family because we had a couple of kids rooms. That was sort of the painting that we'd done for that one. It was like a huge family of at least three generations. This one, I think, would be like another older couple because of the amount of flowers that we've got. Uh, there isn't too many people. Again, I'm being stereotypical here, but there isn't too many people, um, younger people, that are interested in gardening. There just isn't. It's not being offensive or anything like that. It just really isn't that many people. I'm definitely not. I, I, I really don't. <laughs> I, I'm really not bothered by uh, by flowers, um, but um, I think it suits that the house suits an older person. It's an older house, and the the garden, the way that we've set the garden out already, is is definitely going that way. So along this one, I want more grass and ferns than anything else, than 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 color. So again, we're gonna spam down these, get a nice sort of patternish look. And then we'll go in between 
with some rose bushes. And there, oop, there, there, there. And then go around, I think, with a mix of lilacs and... Uh, what are these called? Peonies. Beautiful. I think that's pretty much all of them. Yeah, like that. Beautiful. Oh, I'm going up the stairs. I like that. I like that. That's a nice little touch. This driveway, I really like this driveway, but there's just something missing from it. And I think it's fences. I think we, we need to wall it in, not wall it in, but just sort of categorize it a little bit more. Dark oak, probably. So something like this. Leave a little bit of a gap for, I don't know, um, access to that bit of the garden. Something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that one there. No, and I'm not gonna put it along the back there. But we are gonna put it along here. Again, I'm leaving little areas just so it's uh, accessible everywhere. Because obviously the lot, the 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 garden's been mowed with a lawnmower, so you need to be able to get a lawnmower in and out. I think that's pretty good. And then here, maybe starting about here, we'll start with the fence that goes across as well, like that. Um, maybe bring it back this way, just a couple, and then grab our diorite, our smooth diorite, and our cobblestone stairs, which are the three blocks that we sort of chosen to do this. And again, similar to the last episode, we're going to spam down as much diorite. The majority of it is just going to be normal diorite. So we're going to sort of make our way back to the, uh, the back door here, the second back door. Oop. No pattern. I'm really not sort of trying to get a pattern here. That in fact, the, the the less of a pattern that you have, the better it's going to look. As soon as there's becomes a part where you can start to see patterns, uh, you're doing it wrong. Okay, so we need to start curving it this way now. Like that. I think that's pretty good. Nice and neat looking. And then you're going to go around with some uh, polished diorite. It doesn't matter where you place these. You can place these in replacement for the other diorite. Or as a replacement for the dirt. Or if you've mowed the lawn like I have with uh, lime clay. Uh, you can you can swap those out. Just make sure you don't have two next to each other. I don't like how that looks. I don't think it's that good uh, like that. So, so try and stay away from that uh, where possible. Okay, and then once we've got that in, you're then going to go around one more time. This is getting a little bit thin here. You're then going to go down one more time. And again, you can replace anything uh, with the uh, cobblestone stairs. And the cobblestone stairs are just here for a little bit of texture. They just drop down. Just make sure you've got them in all different directions. They just drop the path down a little tiny bit. Um, get these sort of up and downs, this sort of imperfection, worn path look. It's an old house, it's got an old path to it. So you sort of want to have that sort of look throughout. I don't like that, that's too many near each other. And there we go. Back off, have a look, see if there's any spots that just need like an extra block or two. Like there's one on this corner here. And I think that's a pretty good curve that we have. Yeah, that's a pretty good curve that we have there. I like that. Tree in the corner here. I think is our next step. How, how much have we done today, man? We are absolutely flying through this. Get our oak leaves ready. Um, maybe even a taller one, actually. Let's grow a taller tree, and then we can uh, tidy up afterwards. So a little trick here. I don't know if it still works, in fact. Um, put down your sapling. Two blocks away. Do five cobblestones up. And then put five torches like that and bone meal it. It'll take a little bit longer, but you'll end up with a big... Oh, that's a stumpy one. Uh, you will end up with a big tree. Well, I used to say, oh man, it was years... It's, it's actually probably been at least a whole year since I've done that trick. So it might not work anymore. But I used to say something. It, I think it used to say, it's so cute. It's so cute when a uh, stumpy tree used to happen. Most of the time you'll get a tall tree, but occasionally it does sort of mess up like that come on there we go look and then you get a nice big forced tree and I like these these forced trees being a little bit more weirder I love that that's see that's a realistic height of a tree if you have a, a house that has a second floory a second floory 
That's a second floor and story together. A second floory. And you look out the window, you will probably see trees at least that high. Um, you know, these other trees, like on this side, these are very short trees. That's a much more natural looking tree. And I really, really like that. I like being able to go underneath it and seeing the branches. You only get that out of big trees. And if you're not very good at building custom trees, then just forcing a big tree like that really uh, does help. Just adds a little bit of height in that part of the garden. It really did need it. I'm also thinking about a tree in the front garden here as well, in this gap. I think I am. And I think I'm thinking about a big one as well. It just hides up some of the front of the house, makes it a little bit more mysterious. Oops. Makes it a little bit more mysterious. Come on, be lucky. Good one. Oh, that's a really good one. Oh, I love that, how it hangs over the front hedge. Yeah, look at that. It just hangs over by two blocks. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. What a great little tree there. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Hmm. I still feel like something is just missing off this driveway. Is it just the car that's missing? Is that all it is? If we build a car on here... Would that just look better? I'm half tempted to do the car in front of the garage instead of there. No, I'm going to do it there. But yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's grab some black wool. I like black wool, or I prefer it over um, the block of coal in the default texture pack. Don't know why, I just do. Uh, if you guys want to build a car using the coal blocks as wheels, then you are more than welcome to. I just don't quite prefer it as much. Okay, we're going to go with, I think white because it blends uh, away from the house nicely there's not really any white in the house apart from obviously on the second floor nothing on the bottom floor so it doesn't sort of blend in and get confused and then for the color of the car itself it's an older person brown is too much like everything else in the area i like the cyan is too close to the gray i like a little purple Something like that. And then do this. <coughs> this. Normal glass, not stained glass. Don't like it. Like that. And then on the top, uh, I think I'm going to use white carpet. Just so it blends in with the bumper that we done below. It makes a nice sort of two-tone. And then, oops. And then for the middle, you're going to want a piece of string to be able to do that. Hmm, yeah, I mean, I sort of like it. We can do some wooden buttons and some indicators. I think that'll really help. We can get down a uh, trap door and some uh, item frames. Oops, no, not that. Ugh. I want a block of, of redstone. We want an item frame. We want some snowballs. So we put that on. Put this on the front. That makes a nice look looking at a car front. We want a sign for the number plate on the front. And on the back here, I want that on the back. I want a button in the middle as like a boot hatch. I just really like how that looks. We can put some blocks of uh, redstone in there. Some nice rear lights. That really helps out the car. That looks a lot better. Yeah, I like that. I'm half tempted to do another car over there as well. But I want something different. Like, that's your standard car. I want... I want something a little bit different. We've got a race car. We don't want a race car. I mean, that's just silly for someone uh, like this. That colour is perfect for an old person's car, though. Being stereo... We, we are being stereotypical here, but in a friendly way. That Like, if you saw that on the road, you'd think, yeah, in, with that sort of colour, I would say that's sort of an older person. It just suits. The white and the purple go well together. Um, and old people have style as well, so, uh, let's think for another vehicle there. I don't know. I don't know. I really want a convertible. I really want a convertible. That's sort of what I'm, what I want. Uh, oops. That doesn't matter. There, 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 and there. Put the little wheel hubs on. For this one, we're going to go with, uh, Grey. It does blend in with the road a little bit, but it's just going to be a different colour to the other car. So there's your chassis. Now we want it. We want to make it look like 
a bit more sporty. Well, not sporty, but like uh, luxury. So maybe a red. A red would look nice. Uh, but I want, I really want it lower. At least at the front. And if we can, if you can get in it, that would be amazing as well. Um, for the back here, we shall use maybe some black carpet. Because it's a soft top, right? It's a soft top. So that's the roof that's been folded away. I've left these blank for the moment because I think I want a stair or something in here. Oh, I, I sort of do like the acacia wood. Oops. Uh, put that back. Just a different. I'm trying to think of different ways of doing lights and stuff. I really don't like that. I really don't like that. Mm, no, I don't know. I need to. I need to have a, a more in-depth think about how we're going to do that exactly. A convertible would be nice, though, wouldn't it? Uh, cover that back up. There we go. Okay, how enough time? That is going to be it, I'm afraid, for this episode. We are out of time. But the exterior, I think, is done, right? Uh, we've got all the flowers done all the way around. We've got um, plants and stuff all the way around. I don't want any double tall ferns or anything on this side of the house. I just don't think it'll look that good. I like having just the... Uh, um, bushes on inaccessible areas of the house. The old person isn't going to come outside out of her gate to this side to prune these flowers when she can't really ever see them. Uh, so the, the, the leaves are good enough. But anywhere where uh, you can sort of access fire gardens is nicely flowered up. The back here has a nice little um, leaf section on the outside here. It's nice and blank. I mean, no, I don't want to add any any leaves or anything around there. I don't think it'll really look that good. I do love the garage building, though. That looks so good. I think that's good. We'll have to uh, start doing the blueprint next episode for the interior. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button if you haven't already. Then feel free to subscribe, and we shall see you in the next episode.